Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some items from Juice Systems. They reached out to the channel and wanted to know if we wanted to take a look at uh, some of their new uh, products. Now, we have reviewed these in the past, but they've come out with some new items and we're going to go take a look at them. Uh, these are really only pertaining if you have a Type C device. So, uh, if you have a new MacBook, MacBook Pro, uh, anything like that that has Type C. Um, not really too much in the phone line because these are kind of a, uh, a hub that's going to give you more functionality that you'd really want in a laptop, MacBook, whatever, uh, as long as you're rocking Type C. So these are mainly for, like I said, MacBooks. Um, not going to discriminate and you know, say they're going to work with Windows. They're more made for a Mac. So let's take a quick look. I have a MacBook here. This is not the Pro. This is the 2016 edition, uh, but it does have the one. Type C port, and you're like, gee, thanks, Apple. That's it. One, see that? Nothing on that side, nothing on the back. That, nothing on this other side except a power jack. That's it. No, no SD card, no USB Type A, no display ports, nothing. You're stuck with a Type C and one. And then, and if you want to charge it, I'm sorry, I think I said power. That's headphone. If you're wanting to charge this thing, everything happens through this. Okay, everything. One port. If I want to charge this, I can't use any accessories. So, Juice Systems comes to the rescue with their hubs. And we've got three different types of hubs we're going to look at from them. And they did provide a nice little type C cable that matches this MacBook Gold Edition. They have them in different colors. Uh, this one's, you can see a braided cable. Really nice. Uh, very nice like aluminum count covering on the type C. Uh, and the Type-A too, so USB 3.0, Type-C, and the very nice cable. So the first one we're going to be looking at, this is the smaller of the three, so this fits in your Type-C port, and it's going to give you three Type-A USB 3.0 ports. So you can use those all your peripherals and accessories that have just Type-A connections. This also gives you some SD card loving you got a micro and then a regular SD card that you can, you know, I mean, we want to use our SD cards and our older Type-A devices with the new MacBooks. Well, this is the one way to do it. Now, if you notice this one here, that's all there is. So if I have this plugged in, I cannot charge my MacBooks, okay? Simply, there is no power pass-through in this. So if I'm using this, I am definitely using the battery on my MacBook. So uh, that's one solution. And if you're not so you know worried about power pass through and charging, you just need to have a bunch of devices and storage stuff hooked up, then this is the hub for you. Now, let's move on. This one, this one here, actually now as you can see, you are short one Type A. Let's just compare them. I'll show you. The only difference. You're giving up a Type A USB 3.0 for a Type C power pass through. So now I have two Type A USBs, micro SD, SD card, power pass through. I can charge and use my peripherals like this while I have this hub plugged in. Okay, let's move on to the third hub from Juice Systems. And this one, which is pretty cool, got it on the bottom. Also, power pass through. Now, what you're giving up here is You've got two USB hubs, Type A's, micro SD, so you're giving up the SD card slot, but now you're gaining a display port. So you now have one mini display port that you can use uh, with your MacBook. So if you're wanting to project uh, you know, off to another screen or something like that, uh, this is what you would use for that. So you can actually uh, you know, change your video out. Width-wise, they're all pretty much the same except this littler one that doesn't have the power pass-through. Uh, so, very nice little devices. And they're very compact, very small. They can travel with you very easily. Just load up your tech case or tech bag with those and you'll be good to go. Now, I did want to show you what it looked like installed. So, let's go ahead and we'll use the one with the display port. And it really matches up very nice with the MacBook. So. I'm just going to turn it here. We're going to plug this in. There you go. That's how it looks. Let's put it in. 
It just looks like it's a part of the MacBook. Let's go over here. It just blends in nicely. You can tell you can't even tell the color difference. They've done a great job matching this up to the color schemes that Apple has put out. Uh, and now you can have, like I said, two Type A's, Display Port, Power Pass Through, and a micro SD card with this one here. So those are three options. I will have a link. This is kind of what they look like when you do uh, get them. This is the one with the mini display port right here. You can see one mini display port, two USB. Now this one's only got 2.0. You notice these weren't blue. So this is just USB 2.0. A micro SD card and then one type C where this one here is giving you five in one. You can see they got it loaded up down there. Uh, this one here is the one that gives you more and this is two USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD port, USB-C input for charging only, and a driverless hot plug and play. Again, these are all plug and play pretty much. Just plug them in and the Mac's going to know what's going on. And then the nice uh, Type-C cable here. Uh, so I will have a link in the show notes to each one of these. A little brief description uh, so you can go check them out and uh, show Juice System some love. And, uh, you know, like I said, these are very, very high quality, lightweight, very portable uh, solutions for you out there. Just pick the one that works best or get all three and, uh, you know, you should be good to go and you won't be so what I'd like to call port constrained on a MacBook because we really need more. I know the new MacBooks have two. That's still not enough. And you got the older stuff you want to use, you know. You got the Type A stuff. You got the SD cards. You got HDMI, you know. There's just stuff out there that you want to use and you got to find the right display or adapter that allows you to do it in the new Mac, Apple MacBook era. Anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and as always guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.